Well, hello there and welcome. This is a tutorial on how you can set up this hidden two wide staircase. This staircase is perfectly hidden when closed and when I push a button here, it'll open up the stairs and you can walk on down. There's a button down here that you can close in behind you and we can see it opening from down here. It's a very fun set of stairs. I enjoy this quite a bit and it goes away perfectly hidden when we're done. The original design for these stairs was by FedEx Gaming and I will put a link to his original video in the description. However, his design is for Bedrock and I couldn't find any stairs that were quite like this in Java Edition. So I took it apart and I figured it out and it took quite a bit of work, but I managed to get this to work in Java Edition as well. It took quite a bit of dealing with quasi-connectivity and the problems that that caused, but now these work in Java Edition and so I thought it'd be nice to have a tutorial for that as well but a lot of the credit does go to FedEx Gaming. I'm going to include a Lightmatica schematic in the description but Lightmatica is kind of weird about powered redstone and the way these stairs work either one side is powered or the other depending on whether it's open or closed so there's pretty much always powered redstone so I've removed a couple of torches so that this can be pasted properly into the world so if we go and we paste it into the world right now it's actually going to be sitting at a kind of a weird state what you need to do is you need to place a torch here we'll turn off Lightmatica and a torch right here and then I've also removed the stairs themselves because if you power those torches with the stairs on there, they will get in the way of each other. So you'll need to place the stairs like so. And then you will also need to place a uh, non-stackable block into the dropper right there. And then once we do that, everything should work properly. And if you build it from the Lightmatica template, you don't have to do the same. Just build it the way it is. And then once you're done, place those two torches and then place the stairs and you should be good. The material list for this build is in this chest here. These concrete blocks can be basically any old blocks that you want. I'm using light gray concrete for the level where all the redstone goes. This white level right here is going to be your floor level. It's probably actually going to be much larger than that, but you probably already got a floor design for that. And then this blue concrete, this is what the actual trigger that turns on and off the stairs is going to be. It might end up being longer than that, depending on how far away your switch is. And then the gray concrete is your basement level, and that will probably extend out there. So whatever blocks you want for that. And then we've also got some glazed terracotta. These can be any old immovable blocks. And there's six pieces of glass. These can be glass or slabs, whatever, you know, that powers redstone upward but not downwards and then the stairs can be any kind of stairs that you want and then these are the actual redstone components that you need to build these stairs. So I'm going to get started with a basic footprint. So we've got our underground level down here. I've made this out of gray concrete. And these last two blocks need to be immovable blocks. So I've made them out of glazed terracotta and then we need three more blocks past this block. And this is where our stairs are going to go right here. So when you come down the stairs, you're going to land on this block and go that way. When you're going up the stairs, you're going to come up the stairs and this will actually be your ground level up here. And there needs to be a hole in the ground level that is five blocks by two blocks. It will start at the glazed terracotta right there, extend out five blocks from there. And there is a three block gap between these two levels. So this, this level, the ground level will be four blocks above this one and then two blocks below this level so one block gap between them we need another platform that's going to be eight blocks by 11 blocks this is where we're going to place all our redstone so i'm going to remove all these rulers right here and i'm going to remove this upper layer right here as well so it doesn't get in the way so the first thing we want to do is we want to come over here to our glazed terracotta come down to this bottom floor here remove one of these blocks place a sticky piston there Remove the other block as well. You can just leave that as air, but if you really want to put a block there, it needs to be something that can't be moved. I'm going to leave it as air and we place two slime blocks on top of that and place your first set of stairs like so. And those are going to get pushed up and then we're going to come back three blocks and then we're going to place sticky pistons like so, like so, and then place a temporary block so we can place a sticky piston on top of it. Remove that temp temporary block and then place sticky pistons like that. So we've got total of eight sticky pistons in that organization and then place three slime blocks on one side and three honey blocks on the other side and then place stairs on top of those just like that and it doesn't matter which side you place slime blocks and honey blocks on.
And then right in front of the stairs, off to one of the sides, you want to place a repeater facing inward like so. It needs to be on three ticks. And then we want to place some blocks right next to it in kind of a backward C shape. Don't finish this end right here. We're actually going to come up a block and place an immovable block right there. And then we want to place another repeater right here. This is going to be on the default one tick. And a repeater right there again on the default one tick. And then a repeater here. And that's going to be on four ticks. And then just run redstone up here into this repeater and into that corner as well. And then just do the same thing on the other side. This one is three ticks. Place that uh, C shape. It's not backwards anymore. Place the immovable block right there. Place repeater, repeater, repeater on four ticks. Redstone like that, and then redstone on that corner as well. It should look like that. And then we're going to come over here to this corner and place a temporary block right behind it so we can come up a block. And then we're going to come over a block like so towards these pistons and then come up another block. So we're placing a block right next to that piston. We're going to point a repeater on three ticks into that block. And then we're going to come back here, place another temporary block so that we can place glass, temporary black. So we got like a glass staircase up here. And then we're going to run another temporary block like this. This one's going to be a solid block. So we'll run redstone up here, up here. And then the redstone's going to point into the solid block. We'll place a torch on the front of that block. And then just do the same thing on the other side. Temporary block, block up. Block over, block next to the piston, repeater on three ticks pointing into it. Then we're going to place, make a glass staircase like so. And then a solid block at the end of that like so. Redstone, 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 and then a torch on the front of it. And then let's come over here to this four tick repeater and place a block on top of it like so. And place another block pointing inwards like so. And then place redstone across it. And then we're going to place a sticky piston on the end of that like that. And it should be extended. Place a solid block on the end of that. And then we're actually going to place a sticky piston on the front end of this so it's pointing inward like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Two blocks right there. Place redstone on them. Place a sticky piston pointing forward. Block on the end of that. And then a sticky piston pointing inward on the front of this redstone torch, like so. And then we're going to work on the front section of the redstone. So we're going to come here to the glazed terracotta, one block in front of it, come off to the side, place a repeater on the default ticks, block on the end of that, then another repeater pointing backwards on four ticks into a solid block, place solid blocks right here in between these two repeaters and then one on top of this repeater. And then place a piece of glass on top of this last block right here so that we can place a repeater on three ticks pointing into the solid block that this piston is extending. And then we want to place redstone on these rocks right here. Place a sticky piston on top of this redstone right, right here. And then we want an immovable block on the side of that sticky piston like so. Just do the same thing on the other side. Repeater, solid block. Repeater on four ticks into a solid block, solid block on top of that repeater, solid block down here on the ground, and then glass here so we can place a repeater on three ticks pointing into this block right here. And then we place redstone on these three blocks, piston on top of this redstone, and an immovable block right next to it. And then next we want to place some sticky pistons on top of these extended blocks like that so that they're pointing inward. And then I put slime blocks on this side, so I need to put honey blocks on this side. Start with this piston right here and then come back five blocks, like so. And then on the other side, I put honey blocks on this side, so we need to use slime blocks on this side, like so. And then this is where you're going to put whatever block is going to be extended in to your floor, like so. So I'm going to use white concrete like I did before. And then we actually need the roof to be here. We need blocks on top of these blocks because it actually uses push limit to keep these pistons from extending before you want them to. So if I powered this piston right here, uh, normally if there weren't blocks here, it would extend these pistons. But because we've got blocks here, it will hit the push limit and it won't extend until we extend this piston and then those blocks will be pushed out. So you absolutely need to have blocks here like that, otherwise it won't work properly. 
All right, so we're almost done here, but I shouldn't have had you plate these stairs just yet because they're actually going to get in the way with each other. So you actually just need to remove them from one side and you can leave them on the other side and whatever side you leave them on, come over here and place a redstone torch on the end of this block that'll power this redstone. And you'll see that side extend and that's great. And then we're going to place a redstone wire over here to power this piston right here. And then we'll come over to the other side and we'll power that side as well. And this is what you should be seeing. And we can just go ahead and place those stairs back on there. Now we're good. And come down under here and we can place a redstone wire between these two repeaters. And if we place a switch there and then we power it, it should shut our thing. And if we open it, it sh everything should be working normally. This is exactly what you want to see. Everything's working really, really well here. So obviously opening and shutting these stairs via a switch that's underneath them is suboptimal. So let's go ahead and set up a small T flip flop and we will remove this switch. We'll remove these two blocks right here. Let's place a dropper facing straight up. We're actually gonna come here, place a block down like so, and then have a comparator pointing out of this dropper into that redstone there. And we can place this block back there right there. And then we want a dropper facing towards the side dropper facing downwards, and then a hopper like that. And that's our T flip flop, it's really simple. And we need to place a unstackable item into this top dropper right here. Uh, the easiest to craft is probably like a wooden shovel. I'm using a netherite hoe because I'm in creative. And if we put a button right here, then it should open and shut the stairs. But again, this is obviously not the optimal place for a button that opens and shuts the stairs. So instead, we'll just use a redstone signal so you can power it from anywhere. You just need to send a redstone signal into this repeater right here. So one example, uh, we can place a wall here. These two blocks need to be immovable. These ones are fine, like so. So if I wanted a button right there, then I could come down and power that, run redstone through here like so, just redstone signal, boom, 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 boom. And then if I power this button, that will open, open and shut the stairs. And then obviously you're gonna to wanna to be able to open and shut these stairs from above as well. So I'm just gonna set up a simple example circuit. This is probably not where you're gonna to wanna to set it, but I'll just put a button right there. You can use any number of different hidden methods or lock methods or whatever you want to power this. You just need to send a redstone signal down to that redstone. But we'll just set up an example and so we don't interfere with any of the redstone here. I'm just gonna have this button power a piston that powers an observer. And then that observer is going to hit this block right here and send a redstone signal down to this block right here. And then we just need to run a redstone signal all the way across without interfering with any of the redstone in the machine itself. So we can come around this way and then this way like so, like so. And then we're gonna need repeaters here and here, and then we're gonna need to block the signal right there. And then we can just run redstone all the way across like that, all the way across. And then now it will open it from above. There we go. And so if you push the button, go down the stairs, does take a second and then you can close it behind you. And we can come back up, same basic thing, and close it behind you. And that's all there is to it. All right, so there you have it. It's a fun set of hidden two wide stairs. I hope you enjoyed this. There will be a world download and a schematic in the description. And I wanna thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.